The COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating effect on Siberian business owners. They say the lockdown restrictions are pushing them to the wall. The government has made some help available, but many say the scheme is not fit for purpose. Galina Ponskaya has this special report from Siberia. In Noyabrsk, the second most populated city in Yamaloninets autonomous area in western Siberia, restaurants and entertainment centers have remained closed since March because of the pandemic. And many businesses will not be able to reopen. Karina Lashko's businesses are teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. She runs a children's indoor entertainment center and a bar. She has to manage both on the tight restrictions. A thousand square meters on lease, for which landlords are demanding payments. I can't just rent a small garage and take everything out. And nobody tells us how to act now. That is, I'm now left alone with my problem. Karina moved to Noyabrsk three years ago and built all of this from scratch. She says that she chose this difficult business because she wanted to make life in the north better. Now she is begging for help. When the government decided to allocate money to entrepreneurs, they did not take into account the fact that there are different types of businesses, whether it's a small hairdresser's place or a thousand square meters place for rent. No one helps me here. Debts accumulate. I want the authorities to understand that in this situation, it is necessary to consider all cases on an individual basis. Premises for sale. Even before the pandemic, there were plenty of such announcements here in Nayabrsk. Now there are many more businesses now obliged to stay closed, say that the authorities don't care if they survive. Many of those who were creating jobs here in the north are ruined. The chairman of the local union of entrepreneurs and the local deputy Nikolai Karniluk had to cut down his business significantly. He sells goods for children. Nikolai says the problems of small companies have a considerable impact on the whole city. As the pandemic began, it seems to me that people tightened their wallets. They decided not to spend their money. Sales have dropped significantly. Many businesses are reducing their capacity, reducing their floor space. Entrepreneurs have already begun to close down their businesses. They've begun to lay off staff. As a result, the number of unemployed in the city is growing. As of mid-July, the number of unemployed has quadrupled compared to last year, and this dynamic is growing. The big tragedies of small businesses in Nayabrsk can hardly be called an exception. Many, as Karina, did not get help from the authorities. Many parents keep asking her when she will reopen her entertainment center. Karina does not know what to answer. Without help, her business has little chance of surviving. Galina Polonska, Euronews, Nayabrsk.